Chi Chi, get the Yayo. Get the Yayo. Now we all see the situation going on with Sean P. P Diddy Combs. If you haven't, if you haven't seen it, I don't know where you've be been. Maybe you submerged under the water somewhere <laughs> or under a rock or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everybody's discussing it. But there was one person that everybody was waiting for to come back to, to see her opinion, and that was Tasha K. Right. So Tasha K, <laughs> she finally came back online last night, and she came in with uh, everything blazing. And she was speaking on the Sean Puffy Combs situation and the lube and the KY jelly and all. Yeah, a lot of people saying like, oh, she broke up. Because you know when, Kevin, when we first got introduced to Kevin Hart, he had a wife. He was telling jokes about his wife, about his kids and all that type of stuff. So a lot of people thought that the new girl, because they think black guys, the first thing we do when we get the bag yeah. is get a light-skinned girl with good hair. Yeah. Um, but she was just saying right here, like, yo, the marriage was done way before I got into the picture. You feel Facts. what I'm saying? It was already Facts. over. Because we do that sometimes. We'll be in a relationship. We're still dealing with the person. But we might be sleeping in separate rooms. We might not be on good terms. Yeah. We might have been did the one, two, and mumps. You feel what I'm saying? Just, just try and work through it, but yeah. it ain't working. It ain't working at all. Speaking on the Sean Puffy Comb situation and the lube and the KY jelly and all the accusations that because she's been calling this stuff out for years, right? But one person that she... They don't even call it baby oil. Everyone's called it lube. Yeah, the lube. <laughs> I thought it was baby oil. Thousand bottles. The accusations because she's been calling this stuff out for years, right? Mm. But one person that she zeroed in on to really get at, to get at was Kevin Hart. Because we're hearing that his wife, Miko, or whatever her name is, they're allegedly saying that she may file for divorce Jackson, because we're hearing that his Control. name uh, is coming up on those tapes. They're saying that he was slipping and sliding and clipping and gliding and all kinds of stuff, <laughs> all, in those, all in those videos. All in those they're videos. saying that, you know, he was at the house. Uh, he's mentioned on he's mentioning uh, uh, phone calls and just mm. his name is his name is up there and we're we're here. It's like to the point if you were seen with Diddy more than two or three times, yeah, they're putting your name. And, they're dropping your name, and it goes by we were saying earlier, guilty by association. <laughs> you know yeah, it's a real man? thing, and it's you see it like anybody that was with that man, they man is coming up, and people are saying there's a tape out. Yeah, there's person. a tape out. You might want to check it out. It's crazy. It's wild. Phone calls and just like his name is his name is up there, and we're we're hearing allegedly that the feds wanted to talk to him mm. about some of those things, and his wife is very upset, very upset. We know that um, he filed a lawsuit, defamation lawsuit against Tasha K mm. last year, and him and Tasha K is still in court right now because she interviewed one of his former uh, employees that outed him mm -hmm. for actually having relations inside his uh, his office. So we know that Tasha K. It's crazy. I never heard about that. Um, but shouts out to him uh, for taking it to court. Because if you don't take it to court, it almost seems like it's true. We all know about defamation of character. Right. So if people are spewing these things about you. You have the right to sue them. Yeah, you um, got the they right could to address be it. Costing you money. And that's what people be saying a lot. Absolutely. Of, that's what people be saying a lot about Jaguar right. Is what she's saying is not true. Why have no one sued her for defamation of character? Absolutely. It's got to be some a reason for that. A little bit of truth to that. And Cardi might as well know. Y'all hit. Y'all hit. You're not just going to let somebody uh, destroy your character, yeah. destroy your brand, yeah. destroy the way you bring in your income. Yeah. You're going to address it. It's like today, uh, what's today, October 3rd, 2024, mm -hmm. Jaguar White has a louder voice than Tasha K. <laughs> yeah. Right now, today. So you're going to take Tasha K to court, but not Jaguar, right? She just was on Place More yesterday. Yeah. Saying the same thing. Yeah, she's letting it be known. Facts. It's a reason why they're not saying anything to her. Actually having relations inside his uh his office. So we know that Tasha K and Kevin Hart doesn't get along at all. Yeah, but know. she went in on him real bad with these allegations now that's coming out. And it sounded like this. Mm -hmm. He's having a come to Jesus moment. He's about to turn Muslim here too, okay? Now close yeah. up all his doggone. I said, man, that's a good concept. Vegan burgers and stuff, you know? Vegan See, you trying to Not do around. the right thing, trying to feed people plant-based and stuff like that. And God said, close them all up. Shut them down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that was, uh, I don't know if you heard about that, but Kevin Hart had restaurants. It was, he had vegan restaurants and they all oh, shut okay. down. So that's what she's talking about. At first I was lost. Like, what the hell is she talking about? And then it hit me. Um, he used to have a chain of vegan uh, full restaurant. Oh, that's dope. But you know, with the economy, stuff so tough, people are not eating out like they used to. Yeah, they're not. People are like, yo, let me go grab some groceries. I'm going to cook it at home. Um, yeah. Stuff a little bit tight. I got to conserve a little it bit. It got to add up. Yeah, facts.
plant based and stuff like that. And God said, close them all up, shut them down. Mm-hmm. Girl, she happy about it too. He said, shut them down. <laughs> and so you did just she that. Uh, I heard he had some shows in Mississippi that didn't sell, and he had to cancel them too. He mm. going through some hard times. There's a lot of people ever since COVID. Um, it's been hard for all of us. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I don't even look at it as a knock at Kevin Hart because some shows got canceled. People don't have the free money that they want you right. to have to spend right. on frivolous things. The rappers is going through, the comedians, and you every, everybody's body. going through. It. Albums not selling like that. Movie tickets not selling like that. It's just what we in right now because times is hard on everyone. Yeah, might as well cook it at home rather than go even going to buy it. You, they already thinking. Well, I gotta leave a tip. Yeah. I gotta do. The, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They're making life decisions. Yeah, that happened yesterday. Uh, well, we was we just had came back from somewhere. You was like, yo, I want some McDonald's. I was like, yo, bro, uh, you want to waste your money on McDonald's? You want to come here and get something for free? You I was like, like mm. uh, I'll save my couple. Three ninety nine sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> All of us, but particularly him because he's not a good person. Mm. He was all up in the Diddy parties too. Yeah. yeah. When you see him get real quiet on social media. <laughs> Tasha K. She go right at the net. If you was invited to a Diddy party, you'd have been at a Diddy party. Take that. This should have been in there. Should have been up in there. People like, oh, they was they wouldn't went. <sighs> when you see them get real quiet on social media, there's a few of them that's been mm. real quiet. Normally they the loudest in the She's room. It's mm-hmm. they trying to think of what their answer and excuse is gonna be when this. This whole domino effect hits their brand. Mm. And all these Mm -hmm. studios need to hear is that he was at a Diddy party in them contracts. The moral clauses that he's trying to, uh, you know, maneuver. Because being at a Diddy party is not a crime. Right. If all you did was go to a Diddy party. Because truth be told, Mm -hmm. for a couple of decades now, it was not frowned upon. It was a place it's right you about now be. because of some of the things that were going on after the fact. Yeah. But prior prior to that, it was somewhere where you wanted and needed to be. It's like equal to today's going to Michael Rubin's white parties. Yeah. Everybody wants to go to the white party. Everyone wants, wants to be invented. I mean, invited because only seven hundred and fifty people um, go to the, to this party. Yeah. So you got to be somebody high. Somebody who matters to be one of the seven hundred and fifty people. Right. So and who does not want to be in the loop? Facts. You know how much network you can do in that room? By itself. They say that's where all the deals are being made at, at those type of parties. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you meet in this producer, you meet in this engineer, you meet in this studio head. You uh, catching the conversation, you catching the vibe. Yeah, yeah. facts. Trying to, uh, you know, maneuver. Because that's the reason why he ended up suing his best, well, not suing, blaming his best friend, JT. For extorting him, even me. He's a family actor that does family movies, that only makes family movies, but we got a whole sex tape starring Kevin Hart. And somebody other than his wife is the first line that my lawyers put in the damn lawsuit that got shut down. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Okay? This is not. I don't believe that. I mean, that tape was. He, soon, he got sued for, what, 12 million? Did he? Yeah, for that tape. That was supposed to be his homie, though. That's what's so crazy. Oh, though. yeah, yeah. You can't trust nobody, but... The, the dude who used to... Uh, mm. She's saying, JT, what would you... Remember the guy who used to be hits from the streets? On We're BT? going to college campuses. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. BT. That's JT. Oh, small world. But I know one thing for sure, two things for certain. Black men do not cheat. So she's saying that black man cheated. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. No, I don't believe that. <laughs> that got shut down. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Okay? This is not 2018. in the chair. Not up in here. Okay, Tasha. K. She put okay? her foot down. Okay, We're not Tasha. playing that. You mm-hmm. talking about you a family actor starting Jumanji? You do family movies. You do sex tapes too. You do, you do sex tapes too. Tasha K, you want to think that you don't got nothing? Yeah, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody pull out a phone on you. Ain't nobody session. pull out a phone, man. Session, stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> you do stop. family movies. You do sex tapes too. You do, you do sex tapes too. That's why she put her shades on. Yeah. Come on, Tasha, sex stop. Tapes. We all got you one. Like don't look at my soul while I'm talking about you. You hear it from mm-hmm. the internet. We all got one. Play with me. 
She got the hood on too. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. Cat Williams, I already told you about this troll. Mm-hmm. Now he wanna come out. Instead of being a man, y'all saying hi. <laughs> Stand on your. Sh- Why you running? Why you out here apologizing? Why you out here getting amnesia? You know why Cat don't mess with you? Cat, hmm. I already told you, all lies will be exposed. The same right, way did. you lied on your best friend, the hmm. same way you lied on me, use the headlines. Hmm. And then Cat Williams came to my defense. Hmm. And so did your best friend hmm. to expose you. Hmm. Can't stand this. Whoa, I can't stand this man. Cat Williams, Kevin Hart, man, they've been going at it seeing like a decade at this uh, yeah. point. You feel what I'm saying? At first, uh, people try to maneuver as Kevin Hart. I mean, uh, Cat Williams was jealous of Kevin Hart because all the success uh, that he was having. Um, but people don't know. Cat always had bread, though. That's what I'm saying. That's my point. Because they don't. Because when you're not in the circles, your stuff is not going to publicize that you're doing. Remember, he just was on a tour with Monique. You really didn't yeah. see nothing about that outside of social media. Yeah. You know, on social media, you see everything was sold out. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. getting a bag, but he's with, staying busy. Like the same way with Kanye West. Uh, Kanye West was over Japan doing this thing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, nobody would know unless you, you knew. You didn't hear nothing about it. Only reason I knew because I was going, I was on YouTube and I seen uh, the performance yeah. on YouTube and I we were sitting here watching together. It was a dope performance. But when you're not in them circles, you're not getting them headlines. It just looks like you're not doing nothing, but you're here doing a lot. That's yeah. why a lot of people be wanting, um, why a lot of people be wanting the mach- what they call the machine behind them. Yeah. Because you doing everything you have been doing, you don't got a machine behind you yeah. making it known. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a big difference. And Kevin Hart's doing. This thing, but there's no machine behind him, so it seems like he's push. not. But he still is. He still, he still is. Thing. Yeah. Can't wait till his wife sit down and tell his business. It's gonna happen. Mm. Matter of fact, the court records is probably gonna tell him when them Diddy tapes slide out. Like he was sliding around the room, probably with that baby on, couldn't get up. Come on, you know I got to go home. I can't be something like no kid. Uh, <laughs> yo, she's crazy. I know she be be wilding like this. <laughs> Tasha Gay, man, she's hilarious. Nah, Nico probably like you did come in here smelling like Jergens. Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> Too much. Too much. Too much. She tight I'm sorry, with her I hate when folks mess. Mm. <laughs> he coming out her bag. What? You know she hot. He coming out her bag. Cardi B just won. Was that Nikki or Cardi? I think it was Cardi. One of them. Cardi B. Okay. Cardi B suited her one. You know what I'm saying? I think oh, she yeah, that was be cool. like, I want to think it was like six million. She was some big brand. You know some what I'm crazy saying? Crazy number. That she still didn't pay yet. And now you got Kevin Hart trying to. She like, yo, y'all trying to put me all the way. Yeah, out all the way business. under before I even get up. Yeah, facts. It's crazy. I can't wait till they start naming who in them damn videos. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She like, I'm I know. Snap I when they give know me that everything in me, his name on them. I know his face is up in there because his head bigger than his body. Mm. You're going to be the death him right there. Death yeah. him right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's in the cup? Same Her way team. they got you on tape in Vegas. <laughs> I'm sure Diddy has plenty. But she wasn't done because we all know that Cat Williams also went in on him and called him an industry plant. Mm. So this guy, you know, he has, he has enemies on all fronts. And a lot of times, man, when people call you out, when you on top, people call and hate. You know, they say that you're hating, right? We know the situation when he got caught in the car, cheating on his wife on video, and he blamed a lot of stuff on his um, alleged best friend at the time. So we're hearing that this guy is just not really like a good dude. It's like what we do as guys. Mm-hmm. It's like when you come home late and your girl said where you was at. I was with my man. So I was with my honey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what best friends do for other best friends. Yeah. <laughs> You're always going to be my alibi, whether you like it or what not. You say, help me, nigga. <laughs> help. <laughs> Such a best friend at the time. So we're hearing that this guy is just not really like a good dude. Now, I don't know that to be true. He's from my city. Um, 
I hear good things about him, you know, in North Philly. But then I'll like guys, we'll call our best friend and be like, "Yo, uh, if I call you later on the phone, so you know, I'm gonna call you with my girl. So I'm, we're gonna work with this story out. <laughs> so, so when I call you, not surprised. Like, yo, what are you talking about? Be like, yo, I'm about to go out. You know what I mean, yeah. Da -da -da -da. I told wifey I'm with you. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Already know what it so is. So we know the story. So you see the number and I'm calling you, wifey in the background, like you wasn't with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was with me. Yeah, yeah. He was, we just let the yeah. We worked all that out already. My city. Um, <laughs> I hear good things about him, you know, in North Philly, but then I also hear bad things about him. That's so everybody. I really don't know. I remember going to watch him at the start of his career at the Laugh House the years before he actually became the Kevin Hart that we actually know. He was actually funny at the Laugh House. But Tasha K wasn't finished with him. Damn. She doubled down We're on what she was saying by saying this. Anyway, so now he wants to try to right his wrongs. Repent. You want to write your wrong? <laughs> drop that lawsuit. Drop, because <laughs> he got one little claim through. Mm. The 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 uh the judge said, "Are we still in court now?" The judge said he barely met the minimum on defamation, but it had nothing to do with me, and it was over a word. It was over mm. the use of one word, whether or not he was a like he was arrested or something like that. That's all it had to do with, and it came from his assistant. But you know, she's all you need is one word. word. Matter of fact, you only need one letter. <laughs> yeah. And the judge rules in that favor. It's nothing you could do about it. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? That's be. why you gotta use the allegedly's. You feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's the best way to save yourself. You can say whatever you want. Just allegedly. at the end, just put allegedly on there. You yeah. Know what I mean, because you know how much money that you're wasting on this case with lawyer fees and all that. Kevin Hart got big bread. He could throw. He got lawyers yeah. on retainers. Nothing to him. Yeah, let's throw the bread all day. See what happens. But I'm pretty sure it's costing you, and it's yeah. going to cost you even more if you lose. Facts. Said she was going to let it go through. I said, so you finna let you us let spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to defend the word? I said, these sometimes, you know, I, and I like to keep my 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 opinions about judges respectfully because you know they presiding over my case. But I'm just like, this is bullshit. But it's okay. The longer he stays entangled with me, I'm sure there are other people that got their eyes on him. Mm. I'm the least of his worries. I do my little gossip, drink my little wine, talk about you, cheating on your wife. That's as far as it goes, bro. I ain't got nothing against you. I do this to everybody. This ain't malicious. Okay? <laughs> Shit, you fucking on my household so many malicious. Right, right. <laughs> but you and your wife, what do you mean it's not malicious? Yeah, you're you are I'm, shaking up my whole world right yeah, now. It's, about, it's not nothing against no... No it, bad intent, no It might as will. well be because the ripple effect of what you're saying is yes. affecting people's households. And that's why you got to be careful when you're doing this type of stuff. You're telling people not to care when you're messing up their bag and you're messing up their livelihood. You're messing up their ability to sleep. Facts. You talking about I said name or number? You no 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 no. So now all of a sudden, um, cause you remember when Kev, uh, Kev, uh, Cat Williams had asked Tamar, where did Tiffany Haddish come from? Name a Tiffany Haddish joke. Can you still name a Tiffany Haddish joke? Can anybody here name a Tiffany Haddish joke? Let me see the comments. Can you name a Tiffany Haddish joke? He decided to drag respectfully Tiffany Haddish and say, where did she come from? She did not put in the work. There are female comedians that will walk circles around Tiffany Haddish. Okay, respectfully, there are people. There are people that have been putting in work and time for years. Why her? Why her? It just work out like that um, sometimes. It'd be people working their whole life to get into a certain position. Somebody was pick it up a week or two before and pass them. Yeah. Just sometimes some people are blessed. And sometimes we know in this world, it's not about what you know. It's always about who you know. So she could have been in the right circles of people that can help give you that push when these other people are more talented but they don't got the people behind them or the networking behind right. them to push them and sometimes that comes from uh where your exposure is coming from yeah. like i know i've seen tiffany has personally in uh i was in the la at the j spot comedy club okay you know what i'm saying and i was talking to her like i'm talking to you okay bet. but the the reason i'm saying this is california's comedy scene is different yeah. than the comedy scene in Delaware or yeah. Philly or yeah. Kansas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Depending yeah. on where you at, you're gonna get yeah. more, more light on you, yeah. and you'll be around them people who can actually help you yeah, yeah. Uh, to project your career yeah, where yeah, you want to be. Yeah. She just happened to be in the right spot. We yeah. cannot be mad at her for that. Yeah, because in this world, it's not about talent. It's about who you know. There's a there's a thousands of Michael Jordans that people never never heard. knew. <laughs> it's just how it works. 
It's people that's probably better than Michael Jordan that yeah, you never it, heard of. You might never even, you know what I'm saying? It is, it's, it's just being in the right place at the, at right, the right time and with that the blessing. right people around you and having that blessing. Facts. Putting in work and time for years. Why her? Why her? And so Kevin decided. It's like, you know how many people was on YouTube doing what Tasha K was doing before she even thought about doing it that she passed? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's not saying why Tasha K. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just how it works out sometimes. Sometimes the, the ball just plays, it lands in your court. Yeah. They ring. I did to try to check Cat. So Cat let it ride. He was like, Mama, let it ride. And then when he sat down with Club Shay Shay. Club Shay Shay. Okay. Hmm. He decided to let it ride on him and, and, and say it for what it was. He's a plant. He's a plant. How did he get him? So, I mean, he dragged him every which way. You know who. I never believed the whole plant theory. Mm -hmm. Because my first time seeing Kevin Hart was with Dame Dash and Paper Soldiers. Yeah, yeah. A low, I remember budget, that low budget Philadelphia. Yeah. He then start off. I watched his climb. You feel what I'm saying? I watched mm -hmm. when he first came out. He, to me, he was funny as hell. He's one of the funniest people in the right. game. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So, you got a lot of people who want to hopscotch his career and be like, soul plane. Nah, Where'd that nah, come nah, from? Nah nah, 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 nah. I learned about on Paper Soldiers, but I'm pretty sure he's probably doing stuff before that. I just right. didn't know about it. But Paper Soldiers, when and it was funny as hell. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that was his first work. He even said it. Um, he said it out of his own mouth on uh Drink Champs. Okay. That movie. He's, he said it was a hood classic, yeah. but it was a low-budget movie. Yeah, it was not a classic. But though, yeah. that made his... Uh, he said that movie was able to be used for his reel. Okay. So he was able to t take that clips from that movie yeah. and sell itself yeah. in the Hollywood. Yeah. That's what you got to do sometimes. Smart. How did he get him? So, I mean, dragged him every which way. You know who Kevin took his anger out on? Me. Oh. Mm-hmm. Me. Putting up headlines via your lawyer talking about I'm evading lawsuits because I'm in a bankruptcy. No, I'm mm. sorry. I'm in a bankruptcy. The money that you're trying to claim that you have no rights to, mm -hmm. you ain't even proved your case yet. That has nothing to do with you. But I know where that came from. I'm not even worried about that, too. And God is handling that. Mm. Okay? God got the whole industry right now. Yeah. Tasha K. Good. Right. We ain't at no parties. I go to the oyster bar. Okay? <laughs> she got a great point there. The industry's in shambles right now. Yeah, it is. It's almost good if you wasn't even a part of the industry. It's the best thing that could happen to you. Because like they said, we see a domino effect. It's going to start. We know Diddy not at the top, but he's close to the top. Yeah, close did, enough. A bunch of stuff in the industry is about to just... Crumble. Facts. You could just see the writings on the wall. I go to the oyster bar, maybe the hookah bar. We don't go to nobody house. We don't go to nobody parties. Mm mm. Mm mm. Not one. Nobody wants Not to one. Tell me, oh, you weren't invited. Who? Who wasn't invited? You. They are trying to get me invited. No, 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 baby. Mm mm. <laughs> mm only party I'm having at my house is a dinner party. Let's sit and everybody going home. <laughs> Take a plate, go home. Take okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, so now he wanna come to Tiffany Haddish's defense. I mean, uh, he wants to denounce coming to Tiffany Haddish's defense and getting involved in the Cat Williams beef because the Cat Williams has single-handedly ruined and defamed him, his brand. The brand that he claims that hmm. I defamed? No, it was Cat Williams that came for you. Wasn't us? I don't think that Cat Williams um, is the one that did it. Me, personally, I don't think he's as funny as he used to be. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you're, a, you're a comedian, but... I don't really think you're that funny. And then it seemed like in all of your movies, you keep playing the same character. <laughs> Every freaking okay. movie. I haven't really seen no growth. Every time you already know if it's a, if it's a Kevin Hart movie, he's going to be a little punk in there getting punked. And at the end, he's going to do something heroic. <laughs> <laughs> something heroic. <laughs> we just keep seeing the same dialogue. It's like, hey, right, try something else. It's like when people start getting tired of Tyler Perry. They're like, all your movies starting to seem the same. The same. You got to mix it up. Even when you see it with artists, when you be like, yo, all your songs are starting to sound the same. Yeah, some of the people, patterns, people some... get tired of it. And yeah, I they think, want something new. I think that's what he's going through right now more than Kevin Hart done put his whole fire out. I think that, what's the last good Kevin Hart movie that comes to your mind? Exactly. You got to sit there and think about it. Got to think about it for a second. <laughs> and he drive a lot of movies. Pretty... <laughs> Probably Night School. And that's pretty old now. So like six, seven years ago? Probably so. That's my point. It's not Kevin Hart. I mean, Cat Williams. Brand that he claims that I defamed? No, it was Cat Williams that came for you. 
What well, nice. You can't sell no shows because of Cat Williams. I'll say this. A lot of people in them Hollywood circles are running scared. Yeah. Because there's a lot, there's a lot of party. And Cat Williams said, <laughs> you got to tell Diddy no. no. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen videos of Diddy in that wig, drunk, uh, online, uh, with a robe on, doing all kinds of suspicious uh fruity pebble stuff. Fruity we seen him uh when he Why was in there when he was in the, in that studio with Fabulous mm -hmm. and them other rappers following him around. It's just a whole bunch of weirdo stuff, man. Where those stuff and where there's smoke, there's fire. Always. So they're saying that they've interviewed hundreds of people that that's supposed to take the stand, right? But we know that we know that on those tapes that Homeland Security went and got, there's a lot of names and a lot of people on there, and we're hearing now that they want to seal the evidence. So we don't know, but we know that his wife is very upset. Kevin Hart is in hot water. He's it's like get, tough. It, it's like, yo, you could have hundreds of people um, supposedly supposed to testify, but it's not just having people. It's like, what is their credibility? Right. What do they past look like? Because as a lawyer, you're going to go after their credibility, their past, Number one. your alpha money. What is their financial situation? Yeah, what's their financial situation? Um, and, is this a come up or? And it's like, even though it could be hundreds of people, I don't think everybody that's coming forward is being truthful. It no. almost looks like people see a free money gap. It's a money grab. grab. It seems like with like Cassidy, I'm not saying he didn't do it. I'm sure he did some stuff. Yeah, wrong. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't believe everyone is telling not everyone. the it's truth. Just, it's it convenient <laughs> now. Yeah. It's a convenience now. Yeah, facts. And when you look at it, what you going to say? Worst come to worst, they're going to tell me no and I don't get nothing, but yeah. I'm going to say something. Yeah. Maybe I'll get something that, you know what I'm saying? That's how they really approach and it. And that's what a lot of people will be talking about. Like, they need to, like, change up the way, like, the system is running because um, for these people to get a lawyer, for them, it's free. So, like you said, they have nothing to lose because they don't have to put any money down. But to defend yourself, it costs you money just right. for, like, allegations. That's why people are like, they need to start, like, if you lose, you got to pay my lawyer fees. Because you put me through all this and I had to right. pay all these lawyers. I'm at a loss and let's say I come out that I'm not guilty. I just had to spend all this money when you just were trying to come up the and whole time. And then even spending all that money and not being guilty, you still looked at, like, Yeah, because I guilty. made the headline. Because you got the headline anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Oh. But we know that his wife is very upset. Kevin Hart is in hot water. He's in a lot of trouble. People, <laughs> But he's not going to be the only one. I'm sure there's a lot of people getting their passports and ready to go maybe to Bali uh, or, or, or the place where they don't have no extradition. <laughs> Must try and get gone. Yeah, well, people say like, uh, what's the guy named? So Rusty Simmons. Russell. They say he got like hotels and stuff over there. So. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he ain't got no reason to leave. He got plenty of room for plenty of people over there. You remember you need a room? You better go out like Russell. Go out like Russ. <laughs> They're gonna run because we're in the time of a, we're in the time of awakening. The truth Facts. must it's be told. A, it's coming out. People are being out. Mm -hmm. People are being out. Nah, but I'm gonna cut this video oh, short right here, man. Now. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think, man. man you know, like I said, Kevin Hart is one of the names where the ball is about to drop. Um, his, his wife was upset, and we'll see where this goes. Yeah. We'll see where it goes. Peace. So now we all see this. Definitely can't wait to see where it goes. What do you think about what we just watched? Man, I think it's just, it's mind boggling. It's not speculation. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of speculation, <laughs> you know, mixed with uh, uh, pieces of the truth. Yeah. Because anything that comes out of court, you got to run with. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it's just like, I can see why somebody be fighting so hard uh, to prevent a lot of this conversation. Yeah. Because if it is not truth, there's a lot of smearing that's going on. There's yeah. a lot of smudging that's yeah. going on. Yeah. And you got somebody who, like anybody else, works so hard to build this image. Yeah. Because the image and the way people uh, uh, look at you and respect you helps when I'm giving you bring money, in that cash. They hard earned money where people are yeah. struggling right now. If people don't respect who you are or they think anything less of you, yeah. that cash walks off. Yeah. And you know, that's his way of life. So. Yeah. I think it's an interesting watch. What you think? I think it was an uh, interesting watch. A lot of uh, speculation, but um, sooner or later, the stuff is going to come out um, to the truth. I feel like he felt. I feel like there's a great awakening going on. I mm -hmm. feel like Cat Williams felt like a lot of this stuff is going to get um, exposed because we are in the season of Aquarius. Um, so a lot of that going on. Um, it's just a strange situation. 
um, with him going on Tasha K. I did not know about the whole lawsuit thing that was going between him because I'm not paying Kevin Hart that much attention mm-hmm. because he's not on my radar like he used right. to once to be. Um, but I think it's a crazy situation. We're going to keep an eye on it, um, find out what happened. Can't wait until then. But until then, it's your boy Trey TV, and I'm out.